All right, happy Wednesday morning, everybody. Welcome back to Gamble Spark. My name is Mark, and today is Wednesday. Hope you guys are having a good uh, week so far, not working too hard. Looking forward to that next casino trip. Dave and I and Jody are going to be in Windstar this weekend. We're super excited, so we hope we can see you guys out there. Uh, we'll be live fr late Friday night. We'll probably go live around 9 p.m. or so, and then we'll also go live on Saturday night. But if you see us, we're probably going to be in the Rome non-smoking room, so come say hi. We would love to come you to come and play along with us. We have a lot of fun every time we meet people there, so uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. But today's tip is all about volatility and why is it important to you. And as my wife Jody always says, don't be a victim of volatility. Let's talk about it. All right, so let's just first start with the definition of volatility. Now, it has got a lot of different meanings, but when it comes to slot machines, let's focus in on what it actually means. So every single game that a manufacturer produces uh, in a slot machine is different in the way that it plays out. Even though the payback percentage setting might be the same, the way that it gets to that end result or that end payback percentage is a much different path. And the reason this is important to you is because this is one of the very few things that you have that you can have control over whenever you go and pick a slot machine, okay? You don't pick a slot machine because it's the time of day. You don't pick a slot machine because you did five spins and you think it's giving out some kind of taste or something. Those things don't work. But what does work is picking a game based on volatility and basing it off of the type of game player that you are, okay? So you have low volatility, and what does that mean? Well, it means that instead of getting those crazy potential big jackpots and crazy progressives and big bonus rounds and stuff like that, in exchange for that, you get a lot of low and steady wins. Double Diamond's a good example of this. Sizzling Sevens, Cherries Jubilee at MGM. These are low volatility games, and these are the games that you can sit down at and play a long time and churn through a lot of bankroll. You're not gonna get huge, life-changing wins, but you will get enough to keep you playing for a long time, and you still have a chance of getting a decent win in doubling or tripling your bankroll. And so we always recommend, especially when you first go to a casino, to start on those games and build your bankroll up again. The unfortunate side effect of a high volatility game is the op opposite of that. In exchange for not getting a lot of wins or always getting less than your bet back or very small line hits, things like that, is that you are saving all that for the bonus round and even the bonus rounds can stink. More Huff and Puff is a good example of this. You can chase and chase and chase and chase that bonus round and then you finally get it and you think, this is gonna put me back up to where I was. <laughs> Most of the time it doesn't do that. So. Those are high volatility games, big risk reward. And so if you're that type of player, by all means go there. But we really think if you're starting out with your first trip to the casino, or you just walk into the casino, start on the low volatility build up, and then push your risk at the right time by playing those high volatility games, okay? So don't be a victim of volatility. And what that means is you need to look at every single game and try to determine what the volatility is of that game. And there's a couple of ways to do it, but I'm gonna tell you a real quick one. It gets pretty involved but this will at least give you some kind of clue. Look at what the top line jackpot is on that game, okay? If it's a huge progressive like Mega Bucks, like $10 million, or it's a huge um, top line hit, like for example, 10 times pay is 10,000 credits. Far, the further away that is from your base bet, the more volatile the game's gonna be, okay? So let's take 10 times pay for an example. One credit bet, jackpot on that is 10,000 coins. Okay, now the reverse side of that, take double diamond, one credit bet, the jackpot amount is 800. Which do you think is gonna be easier to get, the 800 or the 10,000? That's right, that 10,000 may only hit once in that machine's lifetime, many, many years, if ever. It doesn't need to, <laughs> but it could be very difficult where double diamonds hit fairly often, uh, many, many times a year, and that is because it is a low volatility game. So pick which kind of player you are, You know, fall into that category, and then go and look for the games that best fit that. And it's a little bit more involved in that. We're trying to help people uh, whenever we do slot reviews or we play games, we're gonna try to mention what we think the volatility is uh, to kind of help you gauge where you need to play. Okay guys, so anyway, that will do it for today. Don't forget, we have our live show tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time. We hope you can join us. We're gonna have a lot of fun and we have a very special premiere right after the live show, which is the, the most hands down best gambler audit we've ever done and we're going to share it with you guys in a premiere right after the live stream so we're going to have a lot of fun tonight hope you guys can hang around 
But anyway, as always, have a wonderful rest of your day and gamble smart, gamble safe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.